The ocean sunfish is a bony fish it has a skeleton of bone, which distinguishes it from cartilaginous fish, whose skeletons are made of cartilage. The fish doesn't have a normal looking tail, instead, it has a lumpy appendage called a clavus, which evolved through the fusion of the fish's dorsal and anal fin rays. Despite its lack of a powerful tail, the ocean sunfish is an active and graceful swimmer, using its dorsal and anal fins to perform rapid changes in direction and horizontal movements, independent of the prevailing current. It can also leap out of the water. Ocean sunfish vary in color from brown to gray to white. Some even have spots. On average, ocean sunfish weighs about 2,000 pounds and range between 6 and 10 feet across, making them the largest bony fish species. Female sunfish are larger than males All sunfish larger than 8 feet long are females. The largest ocean sunfish ever measured was nearly 11 feet across and weighed over 5,000 pounds. Species The word mullet in its scientific name is Latin for millstone a large round stone used to grind grain and the fish's name is a reference to its disc-like shape. Ocean sunfish are often referred to as common mullets or simply mullets. The ocean sunfish is also known as the common sunfish, as there are three other species of sunfish that live in the ocean the slender mola, the shark-tailed mola, and the southern ocean sunfish. The sunfish group gets its name for the fish's characteristic behavior of lying on its side at the sea surface, seemingly basking in the sun. Habitat and range. Ocean sunfish live in tropical and temperate waters, and they can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans as well as inlets such as the Mediterranean and North Seas. They generally stay within 60 to 125 miles of the coastline, and they apparently migrate within their ranges. They spend the summers at higher latitudes, and their winters relatively closer to the equator, their ranges typically are along about 300 miles of coastline, although one sunfish off the coast of California was mapped at traveling over 400 miles. They move during the day horizontally at a rate of about 16 miles a day. They also move vertically through the day, traveling between the surface and up to 2,600 feet below, moving up and down the water column during the day and night to chase food and regulate body heat. To see an ocean sunfish, though, you likely have to find one in the wild, because they are difficult to keep in captivity. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is the only aquarium in the U.S. to have live ocean sunfish, and the fish are kept at only a few other aquaria, such as the Lisbon Ocenarium in Portugal and the Cayucan Aquarium in Japan. Diet and Behavior Ocean sunfish like to eat jellyfish and saphonifers, in fact, they are among the most abundant of the world's jellyfish eaters. They also eat salves, small fish, plankton, algae, mollusks, and brittle stars. If you're lucky enough to see an ocean sunfish in the wild, it may look like it's dead. That's because ocean sunfish are often seen lying on their sides near the ocean surface, sometimes flapping their dorsal fins. There are a few theories about why sunfish do this, they often undertake long, deep dives in cold water in search of their favorite prey, and may use the warm sun at the surface to reheat themselves and aid digestion. The fish may also use warm, oxygen-rich surface water to recharge their oxygen stores. And they may visit the surface to attract seabirds from above or cleaner fish from below, to clean their skin of parasites. Some sources suggest that the fish wave their fins to attract birds. From 2005 to 2008, scientists tagged 31 ocean sunfish in the North Atlantic, in the first study of its kind. The tagged sunfish spent more time near the ocean surface during the night than during the day, and they spent more time in the deep when they were in warmer waters, such as the Gulf Stream in the Gulf of Mexico. Reproduction and offspring. Ocean sunfish in Japanese waters spawn in late summer through October, and likely multiple times. Age at sexual maturity is inferred at 5 to 7 years of age, and they spawn an enormous number of eggs. An ocean sunfish was once found with an estimated 300 million eggs in her ovary, more than scientists have ever found in any vertebrate species. Although sunfish produce many eggs, the eggs are tiny and essentially scattered into the water, making their chances of survival relatively small. Once an egg is fertilized, the embryo grows into tiny spike larvae with a tail. After hatching, the spikes and tail disappear, and the baby sunfish resembles a small adult. The lifespan of an ocean sunfish is up to 23 years. Conservation status. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has listed the ocean sunfish as vulnerable. Currently, sunfish are not targeted for human consumption, but they are endangered by bycatch. Reported estimates in California are that 14% to 61% of the fish caught by people seeking swordfish is sunfish. In South Africa, they make up 29 to 79 percent of the catch intended for horse mackerel, and in the Mediterranean, an astounding 70 to 95 percent of the total catch for swordfish is, in fact, ocean sunfish. The global population of sunfish is difficult to determine, since they spend so much time in deep water, although tagging has become more common. 
Sunfish may be a crucial part of the planet's changing ecosystem under climate change. They are among the world's most abundant eaters of jellyfish, and global warming appears to be resulting in an upsurge of jellyfish numbers. The biggest natural predators of ocean sunfish are orcas and sea lions. Ocean sunfish and humans. Despite their enormous size, ocean sunfish are harmless to humans. They move slowly, and are likely more frightened of us than we are of them. Because they are not considered a good food fish in most places, their biggest threats are likely being hit by boats, and being caught as bikage in fishing gear. These are cool facts about ocean sunfish. First one, they love to sunbathe. Sunfish spend up to half the day basking in the sun near the surface of the water, which helps warm their bodies up after deep water dives to hunt. The second one, they can weigh more than a car. The average ocean sunfish is 10 feet long, and weighs 2200 pounds, but the biggest can grow up to 5000 pounds. The average pickup truck is only 4,000. This makes them the world's largest bony fish. The third one, they lay more eggs than any other animal. Sunfish can lay up to 300 million eggs at one time, more than any other vertebrate. The fourth one, they have super weird teeth. Mola mola teeth are fused together in two plates that look like a parrot's beak. The fifth one, they are related to the base. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, rock bass, and black bass are all members of the sunfish family. Bass generally eat the smaller members of the sunfish family, like bluegills. The sixth one, eating them is bad luck, according to Polynesian legend. According to marine biologist Tierney Thyssidesinsenfish.org, Polynesians called the sunfish king of mackerel. It was considered bad luck to kill sunfish, lest their loss prevents mackerel from making their way to the islands. The seventh one, they're named after a millstone. The name Mola Mola comes from the Latin word for millstone. It's named for its gray, round body, and rough texture. The eighth one, in German, they are called swimming heads. The German term for a sunfish is Schwimmenderkopf, meaning swimming head, a pretty apt description of their appearance. The ninth one, they are the namesake of the world's most popular sailboat. The sunfish, first developed in the late 1950s, was designed to be something like a surfboard with a sail on it. In 1995, it was inducted into the, the American Sailboat Hall of Fame as the most popular fiberglass boat ever sold. Tenth one, they can dive up to 2,600 feet. Sunfish generally hang out at depths of 160 to 650 feet, but they can dive much deeper on occasion. In one study, scientists recorded a sunfish diving more than 2,600 feet below the surface. Next on, they're voracious predators. Scientists used to think that sunfish were relatively inactive, spending their days sunbathing and feeding on jellyfish. However, despite their doofy appearance, sunfish are active predators with discerning tastes who travel several miles per day. In a recent study, scientists observed sunfish feeding solely on the most energy-rich parts of jellyfish the gonads and the arms, while leaving the less nutritious bell behind. They also occasionally eat small fish and zooplankton. The next one, they were an acceptable form of tax payment in 17th century Japan. During the 1600s and 1700s, Japanese shoguns accepted mola mola as payment for taxes. The next one, and are currently the subject of a popular Japanese video game. A mobile game called Survive. Mola Mola, has more than 6 million downloads in Japan. It revolves around nurturing an ocean sunfish, like Tamagotchi for weird-shaped marine life. Next one, they may or may not be plankton. Despite its massive size, the sunfish has been classified for years as a type of plankton, because it seemed to drift with the current rather than swim. However, more recent studies of Mola Mola have refuted the idea that sunfish are passive planktonic creatures. Tracking has shown that they can move independently of the current and can swim at speeds similar to that of other large fish. So, today we are talking about some details about sunfish. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.